doing my vocal warm-ups. Okay, any good news anchor? You're not a news anchor. Did you see my reel? If anyone nailed it, and I was using an Elsa on a, like, kids. I know what you were using. And, and I nailed it. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to She Show Videos. We're not doing this every time. We are out here. I didn't even say it. I We're just said, welcome back to She Show Videos. Why are you so aggressive? We're in the basement. I want to be Is closer this about to you. I don't. We're too close. I don't even know what we're talking about today, but before we talk about it, subscribe. Now's the time. Go ahead, subscribe. Okay, you know what? Click this button right here. It probably says subscribe now. Maybe I'll use my whole, my sexy voice, this whole thing. No. I'm gonna throw up. You don't allow me to use my creative genius, and that's really part of the problem. Okay? Um, if you want to exercise your creative genius, at your leisure. This is my leisure. Get in OnlyFans. That's a lot of work. You know, I do work, regular work, mm -hmm. she show shit. Oh my god. And then nothing about this show is shitty. Except your attitude, ma'am. Turn off the camera. <laughs> like, what if we had a camera guy and they just I wish is that on your vision board? A it's camera not a guy? vision board, you just have to vis visualize. Is it on your visualization list? Things of, to visualize? That, yes. <laughs> Is that the formal term? What are we talking about today? Because I really don't even know. Do you even know? It seems like you're trying to remember. <laughs> okay. No, I do know what we're talking about. We're talking about you. I don't want to talk about me. And your kids. I definitely don't want to talk about that. What is and your husband? <sighs> what about them? Remember the other day when you sent me a picture of what I believe to be a frog? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And it was not. I don't want you to tell anyone when it was. Comment below what you think this picture is. Well, we have to tell them what it is. Well, comment first. <laughs> Get down there and tippity type, okay? That's part of what the story. What is this? Hint. It's not a frog. She sure fooled the hell out of me. Bright side. It was not a frog, okay? You did a really good job being a friend at that time. Well. Should I tell the story? Do you it's not every know? day that, you know, your 10-year-old nephew comes home with a tit tattoo on his arm. <laughs> literally had no idea what it was. I saw it across the table and I was like, did you let your friends draw on your arm? And he was like, ah, ha, ha, and like kind of left. Chris, it took, this dude was like, that's boobs. Just, lo and behold, how did you know? I tried to draw a frog to cover it up. First of all, is that a boy thing? And I was like I getting it mad and Chris was like, she just boobs. I think it is, because when I went to the restaurant and I told everybody else, and I said his only requirement at the time for the other kid who drew on his arm was not to draw a penis. And everybody was like, yeah, I wouldn't want him to draw a penis either. And then was all like, the boys yeah, said all the boys this? were like, yeah, I mean, that's logic. And I'm like, what? I, would I ever walk up to you and be like, hey, don't just don't draw a vagina on my arm? No. No, that doesn't happen with Do you want me to draw no, a vagina on your arm? I've seen your artistic ability. I drew your vagina to low. scale. Did I not? You weren't anatomically correct, but well, you were to scale. Okay. But So yes, that did happen. And I actually, you know, I'm pretty, well, I was going to say laid back with my kids. But then when I think about them sneaking girls in the windows, that kind of goes out. Like, I feel like as they're getting older, I my anxiety is right. going up. And I think that's because, like, I know what teenage girls do because I was a teenage girl. And you were a hoe. For and sure. And I was hanging out with teenage boys and like and I know what hoes. they were doing. For sure. Right. So I'm getting like nervous. And so. Because you know what your sons are about I to be I did doing. start to have a little bit of a, a freak out and Chris was like, it's just tits. <laughs> Everybody's got tits. And then 
Literally. I sent you sent me. Brittany was a very good friend. Okay. I mean, don't sound surprised. I shared your three nuggets of positivity with several people, and they said those are all very valid points. One, he's very creative. He is a pretty creative kid. I mean, if he has. He yeah. could be a cover-up tattoo artist. It's not a good frog. But well, I see where his thought process mm -hmm. was going. He saw a part of the vision and he made it something else. Quick you know? thinking. Yeah. yeah. Two, he didn't lie. He didn't lie. He wasn't going to tell me what it was when I didn't know, but as soon as he got called out, he was like, ugh. Yeah. You got me. Honesty is the best policy. He could have lied. And the third one is the only one that I don't necessarily agree with, but I'm going to give you a follow-up on it. It said, you know that none of his friends have seen boobs because that's a very poor rendering. Yeah, there's no areola. The nipples are just like pinpoints. <laughs> Whose boobs well, are they weird. looking at? Because they were a little <laughs> saggy, so I started to fear that they were mine. <laughs> but then it wasn't actually mine. That... Yeah, to... yours would have been like, <laughs> these were like, <laughs> so. Follow up to that today. <laughs> and if they would have had, your boobs are all areola. They're <laughs> a bit of puppy. Yeah. Areola on the top. <laughs> Tits are being drawn on other nine-year-old kids' arms. And mm -hmm. I threatened to call kids mom. I don't think I would really do that, but. That's cringe. I could have. Okay. Cringe Karen? That's cringe. For boobs. <laughs> Martha His mom boobs. used to work at Allstate, so I could, I know her, I could get, I'm about to knock on her door. No, you're not. I like her son, he's nice. He he's doesn't know what boobs drawing. look like. Maybe they were her boobs. He's out here drawing titties. I know. And Tyson just laughed when Miles said they were boobs. Tyson's like, let me see! He thought it was so funny. Just the funniest thing. Well, boys so, are gross. Oh, they are definitely gross. Miles also has to start wearing deodorant because he's stinking. I told you last summer I could smell him. Remember when he said your breath smelled bad? He, your son's rude. I tried to snuggle that kid and he was like, your breath smells bad. And I was like, I will karate chop this TV in two. Chris Taylor will be pissed if you do. Remember when Chris Taylor said, I'm not even your real family? So, you know what? He's got it coming to him. He's rude. He's a really, you know, you guys are out here thinking it's funny when I say my current husband, but he's going to pop off one time and then I'm going to have to pop off. Okay. Right? Well. Anyways, so yeah, that's what's happening in, in my life. Other kids in Miles' grade, other children who I know, other family members are like full on like puberty right now in fourth grade. I feel like that's so early. I think, I don't know when boys start. The change, <laughs> the transition. The tricks, you know, but I think boys were at it way earlier than girls. Really? Yeah. Because boys were always talking about jerking their gherkins. What kind of boys were you hanging out with? Name some names. Oh. Do I need to? <laughs> you know some of them, biblically. Oh, <laughs> I can make some guesses. Though. Okay. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Biblical. How dare you? Hey, yeah, they were always talking about jerking their gherkins. I remember in like the sixth grade, they were talking about. See, I feel like sixth grade makes more sense because it's like middle school. So then you're like you're mixed up with seventh like and eighth grade. grade. Yeah, he's so eons away from sixth grade. He he's hasn't even mastered multiplication be in yet. Fifth grade in this year. I mean, it depends, are we talking calendar year, school year, rolling year? You sound so yeah. dumb right now. <laughs> I'm a, I am having a little bit of a hard time with it because he's also really smart and he He's also he absorbs, absorbs like everything and he can turn anything. He's like very much like me. He can turn anything into like an inappropriate comment and he's, he's a nine. boy. Ugh. I don't feel like Mason does that. Maybe he does. <laughs> Maybe he's just a little <laughs> slicker about it than Miles is. Ugh. I don't know what's gonna happen. I do. I can't wait. 
What are you going to do when I call you and tell you that my son is going through puberty? That he has he's armpit all, hair and Well, pews. first of all, he's already started to stink. So it's and he literally... smells just like Chris. Isn't your body odor supposed to be like unique to you because Miles smells think, like Chris? I think it has some hereditary traits. It must because not like Chris now because Chris stinks now. He's just old and gross. Today my, this morning when I woke up, I could smell his armpit in my bed. It was disgusting. He said he was a little sweaty in the nighttime. <laughs> it's neither here nor there, but he smelled like when Chris used to play football, like in high school and I would go pick him up and he would get in the car and then I would have to roll the windows down. That is what he's like. A, it's a very specific scent. It's disgusting. My house is just going to smell like armpits. Yeah, because Tyson's going to be hitting that rolling phase. He's and... starting to get it even earlier. That kid's... He's different. <laughs> he's bred a little different, but he's... that's why I love him. He's yeah. got testosterone for days. He will smash mother... Yes, he will. Mothers. <laughs> I feel like someone's going to pick on Miles and Tyson's going to fight him. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like that's... Tyson that's... will just <laughs> come running out of nowhere. Hammer of Thor. <laughs> he's throwing haymakers <laughs> from 10 feet away. Exactly. That's what's going to happen. I, he's he's definitely the aggressor. Absolutely. So he's the me. Or is he Chris Taylor and Miles is me? So Chris, or Miles looks like Chris, but acts like you. Tyson looks like you, but acts like Chris Taylor. It's just BS. Yeah, so I'm, you know, it's a funny story and I laugh about it, but in my heart I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm just gonna be, I'm nervous. I just can't I'm nervous. wait until the first time you find like a tube sock on the side of the bed that you can crack with your hands. Crack the blanket. You can't see my feet, <laughs> but they're bouncing down here, okay? Oh, uh, my bride's What am I gonna do? When or I when you walk, walk in, in and he's jerking his gherkin. Remember our watch? friend told us that story about she walked in and he was sitting at the computer. <laughs> walked in dick first. <laughs> he turned around dick first. I will just curl up inside myself. I, Because you know boys are dumb so he's going to keep his search history on and you're going to see nothing <gasps> but porn. Oh my gosh. I've also heard about this from some other mm -hmm. some it's very weird be, things. A barrage of porn. What if he has a fetish and it's all like Asian porn? What if it's nuggets? <laughs> <laughs> it's not nuggets. Ugh. It's probably gonna be like Veronica's. Like Milk. Cougar porn. <laughs> Ugh. What if it's furries? Uh, maybe it's interracial couples. I can see that happening. Or what was it? Puppy play? Yeah. But I feel like that's gonna happen. That's gonna happen with sooner than you know it. Especially, remember all the boys talk about like once they figure out that their peens can shoot out a little something, then it's game on. Then you're using Icy Hot. Okay, you're using whatever you can get your hands on. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm actually dying on the inside. So, just be prepared. If you see lotion next to his nightstand, just go to the Dollar Tree and get him another bottle. You know, re-up. Those are my advice, my words of wisdom. If I had the noose, I would hang myself right now. I'm feeling very overwhelmed by these thoughts. Thank you, Jesus, for a little girl. Though she can be impregnated. What's going to happen? I was just going to say, what's going to happen when Brooklyn wants to start wearing, like, mini skirts, bra straps out, like, tiny crop tops, a little nippy slippy? Who's wearing anything nippy slippy? She better be in college. As First of all, I have definitely seen her purposefully nippy slippy recently. That's true. She, so, she had, does have stripper-like tendencies. Yeah. She definitely... What I, are you going to do when you're out at Mango's, okay, <laughs> sitting at the bar, and you turn around Why and am she's I winning at a stripping contest? Is she in college? Is she 18? Then I'm fine with it. No. She has a college ID, but mm -hmm. she's 17. Okay, then I'm still okay with it. God, do you know who she's going home with that night? It ain't gonna be you. You were doing that kind of stuff at 17 and you I turned know. out okay? Ish. I mean, you made some poor choices. 
<laughs> you made some poor choices, but what I'm gonna say I is hopefully I instill some things in her. So I mean, if she's hopefully I instill some things. No. I'm her godmother. No. That's what I am here for. Hopefully I instill some path. things in her. You know, if you're gonna be sexually active, make sure condom. Yeah. Planned Parenthood. Mm -hmm. Condom club. Yeah. All the things. It's gonna be weird conversations, but protect yourself. Yeah. Okay. So kids are out here growing up too fast. Okay. But Chris Taylor did tell me when both the boys were able to like be cognizant enough to defend themselves or yell or break away, then we could start taking them on like longer, further international trips. So there's some like positives baked in here. If COVID ever goes away, I can like, I don't know, go to Paris with my kids. Oh, oh my God, that made me think of Taken. I can't go. <laughs> I can't go. Turn the camera off. Make sure you guys subscribe. That's the key point here. Yes, it is. Also, if you have a son that's nine to ten years old, oh. they've discovered their winky <sighs> and they're well on their way. Their kids, to, their friends talk about <laughs> boobs. They're well on their way to penises. covering your bathroom and or bedroom with winky juice. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> so make sure you have a good vat of bleach ready, okay? Because you're gonna need to bleach some things down. The works. Uh huh. Just. Spray it in the bite. air and then close the door for 30 minutes and then come back and just wipe the whole area down. Uh, okay. I always wanted boys and now that I have them I feel terrified. That makes sense. Nope. Not me. That, that does make sense. I told Cindy Jean she should have stopped after you and Kristen. I think she did and then she got a surprise and then another <laughs> surprise. Well the first surprise I'll say. She said they're not mistakes, they're surprises. I gotta go. <laughs> subscribe and tell all your friends to subscribe. Uh -huh. Okay? Everyone. Yeah. Every single one. All the people. And if you have a boy between nine, actually older than nine or ten, tell us what we should be looking for. <sighs> or not looking for. Should we not before we enter? Should we just bust yeah. in? Hands up! <laughs> Hand check. <laughs> what are you doing? And see what happens. Like, tell us the tricks of the trade. That way we know what to do. Because if I ever see or ever find any of your children doing that, I'm just gonna drop to my knees and say, dear sweet Pray. boy Jesus. Start praying. <laughs> Send your only begotten son uh, to save me. Uh, wipe my memory clean uh, like they did in Men in Black. <laughs> Neuralize my mind to before I, I ever you. saw this. We my sweet go. innocent babies. We gotta go. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do though. Oh my God, it makes me feel sick. <laughs> I feel so nervous.